Evening Troopers. I'm fat, thanks for watching, but only over 13 should be watching. This is a adult collector's channel. I don't know. I don't know whether this Copa thing is going to affect me or not. Probably isn't. Um, although I do look like Mr. Tumble. So, yeah, I know, yeah, I know. Ha, 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 he's fat, ha, ha, ha. So, who knows? Anyway, Sunday night shelves. And I've done a Sunday night shelf for a bit. So I thought I'd do one about all the stuff there, the games. Because I'm always talking about consoles because I'm more of a console collector. I really like the hardware. Um, I like the buttons and the design and the textures and the colours. Transparent stuff. I love transparent stuff. It's really good. Uh, I like my Xbox Crystal. I love one of them see-through uh, N64s. I love one of them. And obviously I had a see-through Dreamcast that I dropped I'm keeping that now. I was supposed to be selling it to a, uh, a friend of mine. And then I thought, no, I'm going to keep that as a shrine to what a clumsy clot I am. So it's up there. You can see it. Well, I can see it. You can't see it. So tonight then, my game collection. Now, it's not massive. Unlike much of the other stuff I've got. You know, 30 games, consoles, loads of Black Series. loads. Of, it's not massive because I'm not a games collector. I'm a games console collector. But the ones I've got, I enjoy playing and occasionally we'll bust them out and we'll have a bit of a retro night. Um, I think, as I say um, in the video that you're going to see of me filming my games collection, this stuff in the lounge, the Wii games, Wii U games. Um, and you know what? Every room in the house has got something. I know for a fact there's PS3 games in the front bedroom. Not very many. I think they belong to my brother-in-law, actually. I think it's GTA 4 and the non-game of the year of... Um, Fallout New Vegas and others. There'll be Guitar Hero games everywhere. My wife's mad for Guitar Hero. So there'll be Guitar Hero games just tucked away that we've bought and never even had on. Because she's mad for them, but she never plays it. It's hard to explain. You know women. Some of you might not. I don't either. Anyway, so this is my games collection. We're going to go through it now and see what you think about it. Um... It's not something I'm particularly proud of, but Sunday shelves and all that. So, let's go. And what do they say on YouTube? Oh yeah, let's dive in! I'll never do that again, don't worry. So I suppose the best place to start is my Xbox original collection. And I've got two, uh, two shelves of that. So we've got that one there, and we go down, and we've got another shelf there. And there's a fairly decent cross-section of games for the original Xbox. Um, you know, there's a Need for Speed, quite a few of them. There's a Matrix games, Path of Neo and Enter the Matrix. Uh, there's some nice driving games. I bought all this as a huge job lot. So there's some duff in there and there's some really good stuff as well. Um, and then we go down. Stuff that was really good on the PS2 as well. And of course the Xbox exclusives like Halo and stuff. And then in the corner there, tucked away, uh, we've got a couple of uh, Mega Drive and N64 boxes. Uh, Virtual Racing, which is a great game. Very expensive when it came out. Lemmings for the Mega Drive. And the box for Donkey Kong 64. We go down a shelf. This is my PS1 collection. And there's quite a few more than this um, that are in like a zip-up DJ case that haven't got cases. Um, oh, my Games Workshop tape measure there. Let's take that away. I don't want you knowing that I'm a Warhammer geek as well. That'd be too much. Um, so there's some really good games there. B-Movie, I love. Uh, Rayman, Cool Borders 2, The Resident Evil, Army Man. Um, and then some good shooters, Medal of Honor, Medal of Honor Underground. And then underneath that is my PS2, which is just a huge cross-section of PS2 stuff. There's a lot of like Atari and Midway arcade simulators, um, some good racing games, some Crazy Taxi, which I believe I opened the other day and I hadn't even got a disc in. I don't know. But you just you just accrue games, don't you? And then this shelf. All my PS I got rid of loads of my PS3. 
um, because I, I wasn't thinking about long-term collecting. So I've not got a brilliant PS3 collection anymore because um, about five, six years ago, I've been, I, you know, I've sold a lot on. And then they're my PS4 games. Uh, I've not got many like hardware ones, you know, like disc-based ones. Most of them are digital. Like like we're all now, we're all moving that way, aren't we? And that's what they want, because then we can't sell them on. And then we've got the Dreamcast games there: Worms Armageddon, Toy Commander, Sega Rally, Bass Fitching, which is just amazing. Uh, and then underneath that is a bit of a hodgepodge shelf: PSP games and movies on the right, my single Sega Saturn game, a load of Wii stuff, and my 360 stuff, and a couple of GameCube games. Um, there's more Wii and Wii U games in the lounge because that's where there's a Wii and a Wii U but they're my games they're the games that I play and then just tucked away down here next to my watch winder oh, Mega Drive carts my single uh, SNES game and my N64 games so I've got stuff like um, GoldenEye Donkey Kong Country all, all the good stuff you know so that's the majority of my games collection. So that was my game collection. Um, like I said, there's more PS1 games in a folder thing like a DJ would have. Ask your dad. Don't know whether DJs are a thing now. And if they do, they definitely don't have CDs. But yeah, it's not a massive collection. There's two shelves of Xbox Originals. There's a shelf for PS2. There's a shelf for PS1 and then a few other bits. Um, I've sold anything really that... I'm not interested in or had any monetary value to buy more consoles. Sunrise, sunset. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it's a nice quick Sunday night video. And if you did, please hit like, subscribe, and I'll ring the bell so you get my next video. And um, I will see you all in the week with another amazing Inside the Man Cave video. Also, check it out. I'm on Instagram now. Inside underscore the underscore the... Inside underscore the underscore man cave on Instagram. I haven't posted much up yet because I can't work it out. Makes no sense. And Twitter, of course, as well, uh, which is at TU33Y. Because somebody else had nicked Tubby. Who else calls themselves Tubby? Loads. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye bye.